Well, hello there, I'm Cordell Prime, and this is a toy review on the Tron Legacy Ultimate Clue Figure. Now, starting off with the packaging, you can see that this is a very big box. You have the window here where you would see the figure, little uh, try me thing there. You got a shot of Clue right there, of course, Ultimate Clue. Got the really nice Tron Legacy logo here on the side. And uh, for you mint in box collectors, you're going to like this because this flap opens via Velcro, and you can see, and, um, well, if mine was still in the package, you'd be able to see the figure himself with all the accessories displayed in there. Of course, on the side here, you can see you've got Clue himself. Well, that's not the exact figure, but I'll get into that in a bit. Tron Legacy, all that kind of stuff. On the side here, you have a really nice shot of Clue himself. I really like that. See it. You also have here on the back, uh, not really much, just a bunch of uh, warnings and such. Of course, it advertises the impulse projection. It also says contents, one ultimate clue, one identity disc, one battle baton, one staff, one baton, and one user instruction guide. On the side, another great shot of clue. That's it for the packaging. Now, on to the figure. Detail-wise, starting at the feet, you can see you've got all the uh, like Tron lights, as they're called, going out through the whole figure's body. I'm going to do a 360 here just so you can see it. Really nice. Really well done helmet. I really like how the screen is done and everything. Tron lights. One detail I really like, one added detail, is that they have this nice kind of texture throughout the whole bodysuit. It's kind of emphasized the whole bodysuit look, which I really do like that. That really does add to the figure himself. For articulation, the head can't do anything. That's because of his gimmick. Which I just uh, activated. Arms can rotate all the way around. They can go in and out. He rotates at the bicep. He bends at the elbow. He rotates at the elbow, as you can see. He rotates at the wrist. He has finger articulation. And because of the uh, light-up gimmick, he can't. his legs can't go forward and back very much. They can go in and out fairly well. He bends at the knee, rotates at the knee. He rotates at the ankle. And he also like tilts and pivots there too, which you cannot see. Tilts, pivots, and even has toe articulation. So a fair amount of articulation going out through this whole figure. Really nice. Accessory wise, he comes with his ID disc. Really nice. And actually, this is a full metal ID disc. I did not expect that, but I actually like it. You can which you can kind of get it in his hand like so. Really cool. But if you don't want Clue holding his ID disc on the back here, you can clip it on, just like in the movies, which is actually a really nice touch. He also comes with his baton, which is also well molded and painted. You can, of course, fit it into his hand like that. And like the ID disc, you can store it on him via a magnet in magnet magnet in this one leg. <clears throat> really cool. So that's always nice. Plus, he has two other accessories. He's got a staff, really long staff weapon, as you can see. He's got a molded baton in there, along with the um, lights going out through the sides. He can, of course, hold it in his hands. And my throat is getting like scratchy a little. Uh. You can get him to hold that if I can. There we go. So you can have him holding his uh, his staff weapon there, pulling a Donatello. And uh, speaking of Ninja Turtles, he also comes with a Michelangelo weapon, nunchucks. Really cool. And these are actually my favorite accessory because the batons on them are really nicely done. And you also have this nice flexible plastic in the middle holding them together, which uh, once you get them in his hands allows you to basically do whatever you want with him. If you can, It's kind of hard because, strangely enough, at least I know the batons have some. I'm not sure about the staff or anything, but it seems like the batons actually have metal in them too. So that's, that's really nice. And mine's got loose ankles. So you can get him posed whatever way you want with those. Really nice. Although it would have been great if you could have stored these on Clue himself, you know, like maybe have this strapped to his back below the uh, ID disc, or have these clipped together and maybe go on the side here. I just thought, I just think that would have been a nice little touch to include. Still a good figure, but this would have been a nice little touch. 
Now, of course, the real gimmick of this toy is the impulse projection. When you push this button here on his stomach, you're going to get uh, the lights here throughout his torso and thighs. They will light up. And you'll also get the, uh, his face all up here, and you'll get, um, you'll get sound clips. So I'm going to kill my light so you can see it better. Push the button, and you get... Uh, Try closing my window. Have my window open, so I'm gonna try to get it like that. He said, "He said so. You like bikes? Yes, I do. Clue. Thank you for asking. You'll get the reward you deserve. You'll get the reward you deserve." Out there is our destiny. He says, "Out there is our destiny," and of course, as you can see, you got uh, the lights going through the body here. He yells, greetings, programs! So, you like bikes? Says, so, you like bikes, and, uh, try one more time. He says, Flynn lives. Greetings, programs! Sorry for the blur here, my camera just can't handle the light. <laughs> I haven't had much light, but I'll try to get a good shot of it here. Yeah, my camera's not picking it up very well, but trust me. It does look does look pretty good. It's a really nice gimmick. And that is it for a clue. And to be honest, I highly recommend this toy. I love the way he looks. He has a fair amount of articulation. Great accessories. Love the impulse projection. And, of course, at a foot tall. You can't really go wrong. Now, I got this as a gift from my grandmother on my mother's side, so I thank her very much for it. I think it's a great toy. And thanks to this one, I'm actually curious now to pick up the Ultimate Sam Flynn and kind of compare the two, see what that one's like. Of course, if it's anything like this one, I don't think I'll be disappointed. So, hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time, everybody.